Hi friends, here's another Immigration 101 video, which I haven't done in a while, but I'm doing another one of these because I've been getting the same question from many of you about the conditional residence card, which is the two-year green card. And so the question that has been coming to me constantly is, what is the case process in times for the I-751 petition to remove conditions on the green card. I'm gonna talk about that in this short Immigration 101 video. I want to give thanks to you guys who are following me, commenting, sharing my videos, and just showing me a lot of positive vibes. Guys, you know, just a few days ago, one of you posted a question to my last video, and the question was basically this. Who disliked this video? And I said, you exactly, who would dislike my video? I'm trying so hard to put out good and smart information to you. And sometimes there are haters. What can we do, right? There are people out there who don't like the idea that immigrants are getting good information. So that's their problem, right? So if they don't like the video, so what? But I do appreciate you guys. Thank you. Please subscribe to McBean Immigration Law TV if you have not yet done so. So let's dive into this short and sweet video. The I-751 petition, what is the case processing times? This petition is important because if this is denied, you as the beneficiary or as the the person with the two-year green card i should say you the conditional resident will face removal you will face removal you would receive uh, potentially you would receive a notice to appear in immigration court if this petition is denied so this one is really important you want to make sure you get it done right but if it is denied you can always resubmit okay you can resubmit and this is not a video about the i-751 petition and the dynamics of that petition and the the hurdles that some people face along the way perhaps i'll do another video diving into those details but for now let's just address the question about the case process and time for this one now this is based on which service center your petition was sent to was it sent to california nebraska texas or vermont so the case process and times vary based on what center it was sent to so for example the california service center is noting that its case processing times for the I-751 petition is 15.5 months to 21 months. So they are working on petitions that have been received as of May 2017. Now let's compare that with Vermont. Vermont case processing times is 15.5 months to 18.5 months, and they're working on petitions that came in as of July 2017. Texas, their processing time is 16 months to 20.5 months. Then you have Nebraska, it's 16.5 months to 23.5 months and they're working on cases that were received as of February 2017. Things can happen along the way that will slow this process down. For example, if you don't submit all the right evidence along with your petition or you're called in for another interview. And so if you get an RFE, a request for additional evidence, certainly that will slow things down a little bit for you. So you've got to be aware of where your mail is going to number one, that you're receiving your mail and that number two, you're responding promptly to these requests for additional evidence because you can contribute to it being slowed down if you don't get your mail because you may have moved and you didn't update the government about that move or you just sat on it. You just sat on it and you missed the deadline for responding to that request. That can certainly lead to a denial, friends. So be careful with that. Again, you are able to resubmit the I-751 petition if it is rejected or denied, I should say, not rejected, but denied. You're able to resubmit another one. Now, again, friends, this is just a case process and times video. I am thinking strongly about doing another one that dives into the substance of this 
petition because there are so many issues that crop up with this one and you want to make sure you get this one right so friends share this video with others continue to like um, and uh, uh, my videos continue to do all the great things that you're doing to support McBean immigration law TV I appreciate you and comment below and tell me again other topics that you'd like me to address and specifically as it relates to the I-751 is there a question that you have about the I-751 petition to remove conditions on your green card? Go ahead and comment below with that question. Thanks very much for watching, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.